Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Loving it. you loving it, you can't get enough of it. Then put the hand up high, right where the other is. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know you loving it. So if you loving it, you can't get enough of it. Then put the hand up high, right where the other is. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Eukaryotic cells must process the RNA product of transcription to form a mature, translatable messenger RNA. The first step in RNA processing is capping, the addition of a special nucleotide to the 5' prime end. The second step is polyadenylation, the addition of a long tail of A's at the 3' prime end. A eukaryotic gene typically consists of both exons, regions that encode parts of the protein product, and introns, regions that are not represented in the product. The introns are transcribed along with the exons, but they are spliced out as the third step in eukaryotic RNA processing. Ribonucleoprotein assemblies called spliceosomes do the splicing. The result of 5' prime capping, 3' prime polyadenylation, and RNA splicing is an
process of removal of an intron and splicing of two exons together. So what we have here, this is a consensus intron from a typical eukaryote. Uh, you've got, here's one exon, here's the other exon, the intron in between. The intron's length can vary tremendously, and the sequence within the intron is highly variable. But there's some consensus sequence at the two ends of the intron. So at this end, the five prime splice junction, we have this characteristic sequence. Uh, there's some variability in this, but almost always the first two nucleotides at the five prime end of the intron would be GU. This is known as the five prime splice junction or the donor site. Over here at the three prime end of the intron, the last two nucleotides are almost invariably AG. This is the three prime splice junction or the acceptor site. That AG is typically preceded by a string of pyrimidines represented here with Ys. And then somewhere over here there's a consensus sequence, some variability, but always there will be an A in there. And this A is going to be the branch point. So, this is, the, this is the consensus intron. The next thing we're going to look at then is the assembly of the spliceosome, which is the complex that removes the intron. Here we have the, the consensus intron again. The first thing to bind to begin the process of splicing are the U2AFs. U2AFs are proteins. U2AF stands for U2 accessory factors. We'll talk about U2 in a second. Two of these bind, one of them binds right at the acceptor site, the next one binds to the polypyrimidine tract next to that. They're extending out toward the branch point, toward this A. At the other end, at the donor site, what binds is the U1 SNRP. The SNRP is a small nuclear ribonucleoprotein, as it sounds. That's a combination of a protein molecule and a small RNA. The U1 SNRP binds at the donor site. The next thing that happens is, is that the U2 SNRP binds. The U2 SNRP requires the U2 accessory factors, U2 ADUFs, in order to bind. Binds next to those so it'll be in contact with the branch point here. And then the U2 and U1 SNRPs bind to each other. In the process, that folds the intron over into a loop. And this loop can be very long. It can be thousands of nucleotides. By folding it over like this, it brings the first exon into close proximity with the second exon that's going to be joined to. The next thing that happens after the A complex is formed, three more SNRPs join, U4, 5, and 6. This complex of five SNRPs is known as the B complex. This is also what's typically referred to as the spliceosome. In this complex now, it goes through some rearrangements, and ultimately the U1 SNRP and the U4 SNRP are going to leave, leaving behind the active uh, functional complex known as the C complex. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Loving it. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. So, so, so loving if you're loving it, it, you can't get enough of it. Then put the hand up high, right where the other is. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know you're loving it. So if you're loving it, you can't get enough of it. Then put the hand up high, right where the other is. Are you loving it? Yeah, you know I'm loving it.